Good morning. It's Monday, May 15th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Howling at the Moon and Accomplishing What? And our scripture is Psalm 93. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial. You yourself are from the everlasting past. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breaking on the shores, the Lord above is mightier than these. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is holy forever and ever. God's sovereignty is proclaimed throughout the Lord's holy scripture. In heaven there is no doubt who reigns in the universe, not so much on planet earth. King Nebuchadnezzar of ancient Babylon, an archenemy of Jerusalem, howled at the moon more than once in his life. A poetic, what goes around comes around, is portrayed by the arrogant king's pursuit of power, riches, and the ultimate humiliation that lust brought. He fought, won, and destroyed Jerusalem, killing, capturing, and looting the nation's treasures and temple, devouring God's people like a monster. Nebuchadnezzar imagined himself invincible. He never lost. He even set up a gold statue of himself 90 feet high, and everyone had to worship the statue because the king proclaimed himself God. But in the end, God removed Nebuchadnezzar from the throne of Babylon, and he roamed the countryside for seven years like a madman howling at the moon. Scripture tells us that the whole panorama of Nebuchadnezzar's rule and life was orchestrated by God. Jeremiah had prophesied it long before it began. Jeremiah chapter 27. This message came to Jeremiah from the Lord early in the reign of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah. This is what the Lord said to me. Make a yoke and fasten it on your neck with leather straps. Then send messages to the kings of Edom, Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and Sidon through their ambassadors who have come to see King Zedekiah in Jerusalem. Give them this message for their masters. This is what the Lord of Heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. With my great strength and powerful arm, I made the earth and all its people and every animal. I can give these things of mine to anyone I choose. Now I will give your countries to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, who is my servant. I have put everything, even the wild animals, under his control. The great professional boxer Muhammad Ali was known for his brash self-promotion. Without blushing, he often proclaimed after winning a match against his opponents, I am the greatest. At one press interview, a reporter asked him if he really meant what he said or was it just bragging. Ali looked at the reporter and sneered, It's not bragging if you can back it up. Nebuchadnezzar's and professional boxers' trash-talking may have some teeth and last for a news cycle, but their so-called reign is tied to a leash. The one who holds the other end of that leash is God, the one and only true God. For you today, when it comes to classical narcissism, otherwise known as bragging, aggrandizing, or self-promoting, Choose the humility of keeping your mouth closed. People may think you're a fool, but opening your mouth often proves them right. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.